on the road and having a first stop at the King's house. I'm going to pop in at the bar and have a few drinks and see if it's okay to stay the night. <laughs> The van's been rocking all night, hardly had a sleep, wondering if the van's actually going to blow over. <laughs> so bad. So we're up quite I'm early so here, it's just after 7 o'clock and you can probably even hear the rain still belting off half of your van. So we're going to just take a chance and drive a little bit further up the road towards Port William and hopefully it's a little bit milder on the other side of the mountains. Let's hope but so. But it's been one <laughs> hell of a night, it's probably one of your rockiest nights in the van ever so you probably see with the footage i'm already showing that it was nice when we arrived we got a bit of dronage but it's, it changed so quick typical scottish weather and we're in mid mid june and it's horrendous and there's, it quite, <laughs> there's quite a few people actually in a field behind us here in tents and they must have been battling their tents most of the night and it's a pity for them because they've still got about another 30 miles to go to complete the the uh, the, the west the west the west highland the west highland way. Yeah. So there's going to be a few drowned rats whether they've got the proper gear or not. <laughs> uh, we're just driving through Glencoe here, and as we're rain's getting heavier and heavier. All you see is these white veins appearing down the mountains. White veins of water. Quite area looking. And we're just going through the meeting of the three waters. Or the gathering of the three waters. That's it right here. Yeah. Well, Highland the hammocks. <laughs> I like to see you going in the day at this bit. <laughs> in there? Oh look my god, that. oh my god, look at that. Pretty wow. amazing to see like, but... Wow. That's Jimmy Savile's house, that's the one he used to stay in. And look at it, it's all vandalised. It's been wrecked over the years with people going into it and spray painting it and destroying it, but you can't blame them I suppose. After all the floods, after Ballahoolish Bridge, we finally made it to Fort William. We're just going to go along to the old castle and have our breakfast. We're starving. I can't wait. I'm hungry. <laughs> well, we've had our breakfast next to the castle and we're right beside the Highland Soap Company. So we're just going to make a mad dash in this rain. Ready to run? And get over for a quick look in the shop. Let's go! <laughs> Here it goes! Run! Well, the first thing that hits you coming into the shop here is the smell. Lovely smells.
take advantage of the toilets when you're here because they have all these handmade soaps that they do and it gives you a chance to refresh your hands as well. What shall I have? Hebridean seaweed, whiskey and honey, juniper and lime. I think you'll try the whiskey. Do a nice, do a nice selection of gins here. And I've also got a cafe as well. Oh my goodness! What a weather! Well, it doesn't really matter where we go. The weather's overcast everywhere, so we're just going to travel to Arisig Malik area, where there's some lovely beaches and less people going about. And we shall see. We'll see. <laughs> but if you ever decide to stop off near the castle, the Inverlochy Castle here, you've got the soap company. They also have a cafe which is quite handy and you can also you can get your hands nice and refreshed like I done. Smelling lovely. Look at that, smell that. Whiskey and honey. <laughs> lovely. Whiskey and honey, honey. He doesn't even like whiskey. <laughs> no, a Scotsman that doesn't like whiskey. The honey, yeah. So we've got about a 30 mile trip. Good morning from beautiful Arisig and look at the view we have this morning. What are you putting on? Flaxseed. For flax sake. Yumsies, but no for breakfast. <laughs> you have one? No thanks. Look at that. Look how much I've shrunk over the years. Look. That small. Sure enough. One biters. Mm. <laughs> how many you having? Hold oh, back. <laughs> Let's try it. 
I'm giving you the fingers. <laughs> I'm giving you the real fingers. Oh. <laughs> mm. Well, I enjoyed my breakfast. It's about time for dishes, that. We get the kettle on. Ooh, I hate doing the dishes. You love it. <laughs> you like doing the dishes like I like making the bed. <laughs> While Tracy's enjoying doing her dishes, <laughs> I'm enjoying watching the people walking down the beach here. Why don't you show everybody where we are while I do the dishes? Okay. Give me a minute. I need to get zipped up. <laughs> the rain's come on. Okay, folks. Let's show you around. And the rain's came on a little bit. So hopefully it'll keep the midges away. Shut the door behind you. Shut the door behind you. <laughs> right then, we managed to get parked up at the silver sands of Harisig. Oh, someone coming. And this is where we got parked up, right opposite this lovely beach. We'll take you down onto the beach. It's a really lovely part of Scotland this year on the west coast. How about that? What a lovely view. It must be great with the sun shining. But it's been really quiet. There's quite a few police cones scattered about in this area now and it kind of deters you from coming to the area. I suppose like everywhere these days they have their reasons. It's a lovely place, especially when the sun's out. We just parked there. Landed quite lucky. A lovely, lovely place. You ever get the opportunity to come here? The Silver Sands of Morar, beside Arisagan College. a southern visit to the Silver Sands of Morar. We're now going to be heading back on the road and hopefully get a stop off at the Glenfinnan Viaduct or the Harry Potter Bridge which is not too far. a nice little journey up round Arisage and we've slowly made our way back via the Glenfinnan Viaduct and now we're back in Fort William. And no journey's complete without a little cost on the way. So we're gonna have a quick cup of here. And it's funny how the sun came out after we left. Very funny eh? Not very amusing. Spent no. two days in rain. We decide to leave Arisage. Fort William, the sun comes out. Now we're going to have a quick visit just a few minutes along the road from Costa to Neptune's staircase. I'm starting to think that you've actually got a crystal ball. Uh, because you put a jacket on and all of a sudden the rain came on. Well, I knew it was going to come on. 
Just tell. Well, folks, here we are, just a few minutes along the road from Fort William at the Caledonian Canal. And apparently it was built or designed by Thomas Telford, and it's a stepped canal. Don't know how many lock gates there are, we'll soon find out now. It's quite a fair size, eh? Wow. And it's the... Uh, a connection between Fort William and Inverness. So we're going to go for a wander over one of these big gates. Mm -hmm. Oh, Nan. Let's go over. That's sweet broad. There you go. Look at that. Tracy. What's that thing there? I don't know. It, it, wasn't, it looks like a highly polished toilet. Yeah. Oh no, but let me out with this rain. Let me in. <laughs> let me in. <laughs> it's bucketing down. I think we've got our timing right here. There's quite a few people gathered at one of the gates and there's a boat in it. Is it opening up? Well, there you go then. That was a pleasant surprise, wasn't it? Yeah, that was interesting. Yeah, come back here a minute. I'll say, look. Oh, well, there, you, there you go then. That was a pleasant surprise. Eh? Really nice, was. Nice timing. Seen a few of these boats going through the gates. Mm -hmm. Very time consuming though. It must take them quite a while to go through all these different lock gates. Look, there's still snow at the very top of there, you see that? Aye, that's been there, just that one, behind, where the clouds are. Hamish, what do you want to eat? Can you hear? <laughs> I think he's sleeping. Get him a donut. <laughs> he's, fell, he's fell asleep while all this travelling. Alright, uh, come on, time to get some food here. Let's see what they've got for the van. Right, I'm starving. You hungry? Son, eat the now, yeah. <laughs> Thanks very much. Thank you. Well, that's us popped up for another few days. Keep us going. So where are we heading now, Tracy? You having a look? Well, we're there where the blue dot is. And we're going up here. So right up to here where Spain Bridge is. And then along that From Fort road. Fort William up. towards Spain Bridge. See where we can get stopped there. We'll use our park for night. 